Stasha Rudolph, 222 Southeast 5th Avenue, Melrose, Florida, Bradford County citizen. Um, with respect to everyone, I'll address the DS. I think it's very interesting that an attorney made the first presentation for Camores. The reason the attorney probably made the presentation is because there are so many lawsuits against Camores in every state that they operate in. I have one example. I can give you plenty. Danny. When we see PowerPoint presentations and have gentlemen and women that work for the company say how great it is, we get that. We're all been working ourselves most of our lives. The challenge is the accountability of the corporation called Comores, used to be called DuPont. They have to change for reasons, legal reasons. And we should look at Fayetteville, North Carolina. They're suing Comores. Look at Martinsville, West Virginia. They're suing Comores. Look at Pumpton Lakes, New Jersey, suing Comores for not doing what they committed to do, not doing reclamation, lying about it. And I'll just read one little thing here. This is from the Fayetteville, North Carolina, whose waters are poisoned. Um, it said, the company Comores knew the chemical was dangerous, but ignored the internal studies and dumped it into the water anyway, the legal complaint alleges. So we have a lot of questions here, and I'm asking for accountability on the part of our elected officials to do their due diligence and accountability on the part of the corporation. Lawyers just don't cut it, and PowerPoints don't cut it. We need to know how they're gonna fix this thing. And Florida does have an active lawsuit. Thank you very much.